What's up everybody, it's Margo and I'm back with another video. Today we are in a new location. It's called the other side of my bedroom that's parallel to the closet. Today is a very special day. I'm doing my first book haul ever. That is exciting for me and I hope for you because this is the first of what I don't know if will be many videos like this on this channel because I mean books are expensive. In fact, if I remember correctly, um, by the way, I got all of these, except for Sans one book, I got all of these off of Book Outlet, promo there. Book Outlet basically sells a bunch of books really cheaply. If I remember correctly and I got the thing here, my invoice, all of these originally, I purchased seven books from Book Outlet, right? And on the site, and I did look this up for myself, had I purchased all of these individually at their retail prices, I would have spent around $102. I actually spent $36.66. And that, my friends, is what we call a steal! Book number one, Secrets for the Mad by Dodie Clark. Book number two, Saint Anything by Sarah Dessen. Up next, we have book number three, Car of All by Stephanie Garber. I've been wanting to read this for such a long time, and I have been seeing so many good, good and kind words about it. Right, I believe this was about like a si this was about like sisters in a competition, if I remember correctly. But I've always like, I've heard this was really good. I've been wanting to read it, and I'm I'm really excited for it. Next up, we have book number four, Size by Neil Shusterman. Basically, humanity has reached this level of health and security where they're basically immortal, and now the threat of death is non-existent, and basically they're, and so now there are a few people who are hired, or well, I guess drafted, I don't really know, to thin the population whenever necessary. It doesn't matter who, like everyone has an equal opportunity to die at any time. So it's kind of like, eh. But it was just a really cool concept that I really wanted to look into. Also, can I can I, can I talk about this cover? It's gorgeous. The colors just flow so well together, and it looks so pretty. I like how the scythe just sort of curves over the hood of the character, and just and like I don't hate this font. I usually hate this font. This reminds me though, like, the cover and just the colors, everything, it reminds me a lot of Fahrenheit 451. Oh, I like the back, there's like a poem. The scythe's commandments, thou shalt kill, thou shalt kill with no bias, bigotry, or malice, a forethought. Thou shalt grant an atom of immunity to the beloved of those who accept your coming. Thou shalt kill the beloved of those who resist. Ooh! I already like the the feel of this story. Is there anything on the inside of the jacket? Ooh! Twin sides! You can't see this very well at all, but there are tw there it is. There are twin sides on the inside. That is oh, I'm I'm gonna like this. I'm gonna really like this. I can already tell. This is my type of story. I don't know what you would call this genre of books. Like I I listed it off in my booktube newbie tag. I don't know what I, I don't know how to describe my taste. Book number five. Suicide Notes from Beautiful Girls by Lynn Wart- Weingarten. 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 I think that's her name. Weingarten, yeah. And I don't exactly remember what this story was about, but- and I, I think I had seen it somewhere on Epic Reads. I don't remember when or where or why. I just decided, you know what? I need to accumulate $30 worth of books to get free shipping. I'm gonna just look for something. Oh, right, 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 right. This is about, um, the protagonist's friend who's accused of committing suicide and it, she doesn't think it was, so she thinks it was a predetermined arson, or if I remember correctly, it just, I, the cover is simple enough. All right. Next up, book number six, One by Victoria Laurie. If you're familiar with Death Note, then you're familiar with the Shinigami Eye concept. Basically, Misa Amane, one of the other characters, has the ability to see someone's lifespan above their head and when they're supposed to die. Right, basically, she can see the shadow of someone's death date. <gasps> Evergreen! Bye! Yuyuko Takemiya. Basically, I'm pretty sure this was like a slice of life sort of thing. 
Right, it's supposed to be like a high school romance thing. And I thought this was going to be cute. I needed to add like three more dollars to my cart to get the free shipping. So when I thought, you know what, I haven't really read a manga in like a long, long time. And I don't... Like, I've read graphic novels, but I haven't read like a manga in a while. Ooh, ooh, I'm excited for this one. And finally, book number eight. A Female of the Species by... By Mindy McGinnis. If I remember correctly, this has to do with like revenge and stuff. I've really wanted to read this for a while. All right, All right. Alex Craft knows how to kill someone. She doesn't feel bad about it. Yeah, so teenage girl with murderous rage out for revenge on somebody who killed her older sister. Seems interesting. Seems like my kind of story. Thank you for watching and make sure you leave a thumbs up on this video and a comment down below if you have any thoughts to add. Without further ado, let's turn the page on this video and I will see you on the next chapter. Ciao!